Hey everybody, this is Brian. If you're following along in our HTML series, this is video 14. Today we're going to be talking about comments. So what are comments and how can they help you? If you look at this code, um, you'll see that this is the exact same code from our last tutorial, the table in a table. But you notice how it's very unreadable. It's hard for you to kind of pick through here and see what you're looking at. I mean, what is all this stuff? Well, that's what comments do. Comments allow you to easily break things up. I'm going to make a comment real quick here. It's just a, uh, a less than symbol with an exclamation mark, three dashes, space, three dashes, and a greater than symbol. And inside these dashes you can say anything you want. Now, you save your work, flip back to your page, refresh, and you notice how it's not in your page at all, but actually in the code it's right above where this word header is. It's a comment. This may be a new thing for some of you guys, but some of you programmers out there will know exactly what I mean. Uh, a comment is a way of leaving yourself a note. For example, end of header. And we'll just put start of header. Save your work. Flip back over your page, refresh. Once again, doesn't appear anywhere. It's just a comment for you. So you can kind of tell yourself where you are, what's going on, what this section really means. Um, a lot of times, programs will use comments to really define certain areas of a page. You know, they'll they'll look for specific markers or comments. See, now when you look at this code, you can look through and just focus on your comments to see what's going on here. You can see, you know, this is the start of the header, this is the end of the header, what's this? Oh, this is the start of the body, this is the end of the body. So I'm not going to go through and do the rest, but you get the point. Comments are helpful, and they not only help you, they help anybody else who's going through. For example, if you get uh, hired to do a web page and you do a lot of code, you should comment it. That way, if somebody else has to go in and modify it, they don't have to pick through hundreds and hundreds of lines of code trying to figure out exactly what's going on. So I hope you found this video educational and entertaining, and if you have any questions or comments, just drop me a line. Thanks.